got some more exploring to do. So what we're looking at here is the northwest corner of Rhode Island. And from what the landowner said, these actual properties that you see here on the 1831 map were old home sites. And then it was basically a campground for anyone, including Boy Scouts, that wanted to go camp on the property. So I took a ride up, and this road right here doesn't exist anymore, and this one doesn't either. This one takes you right into Mass. Uh, but you can see we do have some old home sites that we will try and find today. we got some exploring ahead of us, and uh, we'll see you out there. All right. Look at that. Boy Scout belt buckle. Very cool. I wonder if we can get anything off of it. No, it's clean. Very cool. Still got the slides. They actually move a little. Wow, just a couple couple feet over from the last hole. And I found the part that uh, actually clamps to the end of the buckle. So now we have the buckle. This would slide through. The... Um, the material would be here. It wasn't leather. I forget what it was. I forget what it was. And then this would slide back and clamp it down. So you have the whole buckle. That's awesome. Ah, spoon. Right here. Oh, that's an old one. Yeah. This is my fourth quarter, I think. Very cool. It's got some designs the on it. quarter must have been ringing up. Like, ooh, I just dropped it. <laughs> Might have like a silver wash to it. You see how, see how there's, uh, there's junk here that there was a campfire here. Yeah. Cool, Dad. I don't know. What do you guys think this is? Maybe that's the top to an old uh, salt or pepper shaker. I don't know. Those are pretty, pretty big holes for it to be a salt or pepper shaker. Very cool. That is right next to the buckle. So there's the hole that that came out of, and here's the hole for the buckle. Another mystery. So I've been walking around trying to find remnants of the old uh, campsite before it was a Boy Scout camp. And I just came across these. Let me flip you around. I just came across all these. And they form all the way around, kind of like a tent. You, know, you see all these in the ground like this. And I'm not sure if those were posts where you would just put like a, a triangle tent over the top. And then right next to it, I found something pretty cool. And I have, I brought up the company too. So this is a toothpaste, SS White toothpaste that I unrolled found this online, SS Toothpaste, American Teeth Impress Our British Allies. All right, I just got home, definitely a, a cool spot. I think we found some of the old camping area, definitely found remnants of the Boy Scout area everywhere. But um, we were really focused on looking for that old camping area before it was a Boy Scout camp. I think we found some of that with the old spoon and the toothpaste holder and stuff like that. But let me flip you around and show you what we got. So there's our junk pile for today. Got some bullet casings here. I'm not sure what that is. You know, a couple of nails, pull tabs, a whole bunch of clad. That eight, you can tell this is pretty new old toothbrush. Oh, oh, these were found really in the woods so we definitely have some more exploring to do over there. That old toothpaste container from SNS White Toothpaste. Very cool. The Boy Scout buckle and uh, the, the clasp that slid through. The old spoon. It's got some designs on there. We'll have to clean that up a little better. See if we can get anything off. You can tell it's got like a silver wash to it. And a um, one ounce fishing weight. Overall decent hunt. We definitely have some more exploring to do over there. Everyone, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.